Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Second Son Woodworks. My name is Caleb, and today we're going to be finishing up the bar cart, which is pretty exciting. I've been waiting a long time for this bar cart to be done so that I could start drinking alcohol, or at least wheeling it around in my house. I might do a bit of that. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Today, we'll be talking about a number of things to finish up this project, including Finishing the legs, you can see I am doing on the lathe. Explain more of that here in a second. But also I will be cutting the dowels for the different levels of the bar cart. I'll be adding the wine glass and bottle holders. Found some pretty cool hardware for these on the internet. I'll be putting the cart together. I'll be adding the wheels on the underside, which are also pretty cool. You can find lots of cool stuff on the internet these days. Uh, and then I will be giving you a nice finished product reveal at the end of the film. So I hope you'll stick around. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will stick around for a bit and check out the other videos that I have listed in my library that you might find interesting. Uh, I got some cool stuff over there that may or may not be helpful to you, but they could also be very entertaining. So uh, go over there, check it out, like this video, subscribe, comment, and build something cool. Well, you may have noticed that I have mounted two of the four spindle legs for the bar cart back onto the lathe for a quick and simple finish. This finish started off with sanding down the spindle uh, until it was nice and smooth. And then I used my air compressor to blow uh, off as much dust as possible. The idea behind this is that uh, if I open up the grain as much as possible, uh, then I will get a deeper penetration when I go to add the brie wax that I'll be using to finish the legs. But before doing that, uh, I also did a quick wet sanding where I just sprayed on some water and then used a sanding sponge block to sand down the leg. Uh, and then after that, I went ahead and rubbed in some Brie Wax. This is a pretty simple way to do the finish on the legs, uh, and it turned out really nice. The nice thing about building indoor furniture compared to building outdoor furniture and the finishing process is that you don't have to worry as much about weatherizing the wood because it won't be sitting in the rain and the sunshine. And so with these legs, I didn't have to spend as much time finishing them. I just wanted a simple finish, something that would look nice inside and slowly change over time uh, as it was used uh, more, but not to, a, to the point where it would break down and rot. And let me tell you, nobody likes rotted furniture. Nobody. Can't tell you one person that does. Anyways, it was pretty simple to finish the spindle legs. The lathe did most of the work. All I had to do was hold a wet sponge sanding block up against the wood uh, and apply some water. And then after that was done, I use some Brie Wax, which if you've never used this product, it's a great product, I definitely recommend it. It's made mostly from beeswax and it's quite simple to apply. You just rub it in uh, and it helps protect the wood and make it shine and you can get different colors. The one that I'm using right now is a clear coat, but the other ones are pretty cool too. The next step was to cut down the wooden dowels that I picked up at the store 
to use for the two different levels of the bar cart as the little fence type railings uh, that would be inserted into the various holes that I drilled into the spindle legs uh, and these would serve as like I said the railings that would kind of hold in the uh, different booze uh, bottles that kind of stuff that I uh, will be setting on the bar cart. At first I thought that I would maybe turn these on the lathe but after the crazy mistake that I made uh, which there's a video of that on my channel as well as just working on the uh, the four different legs ended up being five legs because I broke one of them uh, but it was just a lot of turning and I decided to save a bit of time I'd just buy the dowels from the store uh, and then after cutting them down to length I went ahead and finished them with some rewax as well uh, before doing a test uh, fit here in a bit After that I went back over to the two separate levels of the bar cart, the two separate uh, old cabinet doors, and I went ahead and attached the wine glass holders on the bottom side as well as the bottle holders, uh, which um, both of these I ordered off of Amazon, I'll put links in the description below, and they are both kind of golden and uh, really match well with this wood and this uh, kind of style. And the bottle holder you had to assemble. Um, it's pretty simple. There is instructions. Um, and then after assembling the couple different pieces, I was able to attach it to the bottom side of what would be the top level of the bar cart. And really happy that I ended up doing this. It uh, really added a nice addition to the bar cart. You can hold four separate bottles within the bottle holder. And then I think you can hold about nine wine glasses that uh, hang upside down on the little wine glass holder. I ended up putting the wine glass holder on uh, the wrong way so that when you release the wine glasses, you have to pull them into the center of the bar cart as opposed to out, but it was fine. It still works well and it adds a lot of storage. Uh, for bottles and wine glasses. Really stoked about this. If you haven't watched the other videos regarding the building of this bar cart, you should check them out. The most recent video is on buffing out the epoxy on these two separate cabinet doors that has fresh lavender uh, inlaid into the epoxy. I use a true polish compound that's usually used for cars to buff out the epoxy and it works pretty well. Uh, if you're interested, check that out. Um, and eventually I will be posting, if I haven't already, a video uh, with the entire build uh, all together so you can see the project from start to finish. So stay tuned. I made sure to measure the place where I would be attaching the wine glass holder and the bottle holder uh, so that they didn't conflict with each other uh, and or the legs. Um, and then I made sure to pre-drill holes before using the hardware that was included to attach to the cabinet door. Since that was finished, it was time to put the bar cart together. Uh, I had already done a test fit of the various pieces of the bar cart before doing the final uh, put together. 
um, and it worked pretty well. I had to do some adjustments when I was first putting it together, um, but you'll see here in a second that I used some screws on each of the legs to attach the uh, different levels, uh, the different cabinet doors to the legs um, within the little dado cuts that are on the legs that I did before I turned them. Uh, and I made sure to pre-dural holes. This is a little bit of a diff difficult um, assembly, um, but in the end, it worked out pretty well. And uh, I was pretty excited to see the finished product come together. I had to kind of do each step uh, slowly, I guess, you know, before putting the whole thing together in order to get those different railings into the holes uh, and put the whole thing together. So. Uh, Stick around, watch the watch the assembly of this thing. I'm pretty stoked about it. I'd be curious to hear what you think about this design, this bar cart. It came about randomly uh, because I had these two extra cabinet doors that I took from an old cabinet and I didn't want to waste them. I wanted to use them for something cool and then that slowly developed into using them for a bar cart. Uh, so let me know what you think. Do you like it? Once I had the entire bar cart all put together, it was time to flip it over uh, and add the wheels that I picked up uh, on the internet as well. I had pre-drilled the holes for these wheels before turning the legs um, and that made the process pretty simple. These wheels included some hardware that you would pound into the hole before inserting the wheel itself and these little metal circular cylinders would then hold the stem of the wheel um, in place and these wheels were kind of old fashioned looking wheels and they made the bar cart look pretty good. And then at that point, the bar cart was complete. And I gotta say, I was pretty excited to have this project done. My roommate even came out and took a look.
Well folks, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I congratulate you for using your time wisely and watching another episode of Second Son Woodworks with your host, Caleb. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below. Go check out all of my other videos in my library, and like I always say, get in the shop, build something cool. Alright, take care.